The sun'll come out tomorrow, unless Galactus destroys the world tomorrow. <laughs> Yo, yo, what's up, everybody? It's your boy, Strix, back at it with some more Marvel Snap. What's that? You want more Galactus? I'm pretending that's what you said, because guess what? I got more Galactus for you. I'm doing a new comp today with some other adjusted cards that I've been trying to figure out with. So here's some strats that I've learned while taking on some other opponents. First, we start off with Big G himself, Galactus. If he's the only card in my one location, I destroy all other locations. So in order for him to work, I'd have to either ramp up to him to play something a little later or earlier, or I have to have some kind of card that can help solidify that location a lot easier. One strat is Wolverine. When he's discarded or destroyed, I regenerate him at a random location with plus two power, meaning that if I am able to put him down and then get him destroyed, he comes back to my side alongside Big G. And one card that I'm getting a lot of use with is Spider-Man. If I'm able to ramp with Wave into Galactus and then use Spider-Man, it locks down turn six for me to play something like a Null or other cards to like destroy any big power cards. Uh, it basically either ends in like super victory or a quick retreat from my opponent. It's crazy how so many decks are built around the idea of Galactus. And again, I'm finding more comps. So let's see how well this deck comp is able to support Big G. All right, bring it on, Malachi. All right, I, real quick, I do have an audio issue in this, uh, this video. So just enjoy the music while I uh, narrate it. I'm, I'm gonna make some huge sounds, okay. All right, I got Ebony Ma, and you got locked down on the far right. He gets a Corgan Zhuzh, there's the rock. Uh, and he gets doubled up in Shuri's lab. All right, Strange Academy. All right, I have a strat here. Since this is a Galactus deck and I have Spider-Man, uh, I have the play already in my brain. So he plays DD, Daredevil. Kamertaj on the far right, I messed up playing Ebony Ma. But you know what, we run with it. Okay, he's playing Carnage, which destroys those two. He gets doubled up with Carnage, which is a pretty good move. I play Electro, because now I'm about to ramp up into something uh, something crazy. So check this out. First, I'm playing down Doc Ock. Let's see what you got. He's playing Debris, throwing rocks everywhere. And then there's Iceman. Uh, affects my Spider-Man, but you know what, it's fine. Oh, end up uh, affecting uh, Wave too because he's on Tom Mortaj. All right, Doc Ock's gonna pull whatever he has left in his hand. In this case, Spider Woman. He's gonna decrease my cards, and he played Angela. But it's fine, no worries about it. Because check this out, I'm gonna drop Spider Man into Strange Academy. He plays Hobgoblin. All right, and then I play Spider Man. I'm gonna lock down Strange, and. End of this turn, everything in Strange Academy gets sent to other locations. So all the other sides are full, but Strange Academy has no access. So what that means for me is guaranteed victory. Because now Galactus is the only one he, I can play. Oh, he plays Storm. Okay, thinking that it's gonna, gonna do something. That's cool, that's cute. Unfortunately, he doesn't realize that I've already assumed victory. Take a look at that. I actually would have won regardless if I played anything else, but the fact that I have Galactus alone standing amongst the wreckage of all these heroes and villains who thought he could stand before his might, well, you can't really, you can't really replace that kind of win. And there it is. A nice fat victory screen in eight cubes to boot. All right, ooh, this guy really loves to recycle. Okay, that's cool. All right, what do we got? Turn one, Nidavellir. Plus five to cards that are there. I'm gonna pause because I have zero, but I don't wanna play uh, something with it yet. He's running with Bast, so Bast makes everything three in his hand. And there's Strange Academy yet again. So, you know, I could be, I could have fun there. <laughs> All right, oh, he's playing a lot of cards. He's got Yellow Jacket, Wasp, very nice, and Adam Warlock. All right, so he's already building up to get some cards for himself. Pretty good combo, honestly. 
I put my own Wolverine down and we'll see how well he can handle himself. All right, Wakandan SMB, SMB, Embassy, bruh. Okay, here it is. I play Wave. I don't know what I'm gonna get in my next hand, but if it's Galactus, great. Because then I have Spidey and I have other cards to work with. All right, he's getting more cards in his hand. He's just building up his, uh... Oh, there it is. The Big G himself. Ooh, he's playing Onslaught, okay. Well, he's gonna have to make do with the limited amount of uh, space he's got in uh, Wakanda Embassy now. Because everything else is just gone. Except for Wolverine, who's here back, hanging out with Galactus. Sometimes he'll end up in the other location, but he went straight here. Oh, snappy snappy. Okay, well, let's play this out first. Let's see what he's got. He's playing magic. Baby magic! He's playing Limbo, so now there's a turn 7 to the game. So now this next turn won't be the last, but I can stall for a little. Spidey is going up, and I'm bringing down GG for a minus 1. Now we're even, so this next card is all it needs, and there he is! The No Man himself! I'm snapping because I know I'm going to win. There he is, revealed. Ooh, very close with the Iron Man, but just shy, just a little shy. There he is. That was a, that was a, that could have gone either way, but good job. All right. Nineron, bring it on. Again, another video that had audio issues, I'm sorry. I'll make it up by making um, sound effects. All right, put zero down in Dark Dimension. He plays Angela, so he gets a card zoop into his hand. Sorry, not Angela, Agent 13. Oh, Super Flow! Looks like I get an extra energy in here. Have a GG, Green Goblin. Oh, gosh! All right, a lot of disruptors in his deck. Okay, he's playing Iceman, he's got Queen Jet. Here's GG, flying up to the side. All right, I get more energy, so now I can, I can splurge a little. Ooh, the cloning vats. I'm dropping Spider-Man as this car whizzes behind me. Oh, we didn't hear that. He plays Collector, so he's got another Collector in his hand. But now I got Spidey, which is going to lock down that location and force him to play somewhere else. All right. Ah, there he is. Big G. Okay. Oh, he's... Okay, he's got Falcon, so he's going to return everything at that location to bring. He pumps up the Collector, but you know what? <sighs> A fruitless labor, honestly. Because, uh, you know, it's about to go down. And by it, I mean the world. Because Galactus is going to destroy it right there. Zhugung. You like that sound effect? Well, whatever was in those dark dimensions is now feeding into your boy Null. And there's Wolverine popping back in to support a little bit. So let's see. Let's see. I'm going to put Null down since it's last turn. I'm going to snap because I know I can win. And he just bails. <sighs> sad. So very sad, CC. All right, we got one more here. Darth Ford 33, don't step on me. All right, I'll just end up destroying you. How about that? Lemuria, no cards revealed this turn? Okay, let's see what we got. I got nothing, so I'm gonna move forward. All right, he doesn't have anything either. That's great for both of us. Ah, Central Park. The nuisance of these rats are now gonna be solved with the cloak. Okay, he's playing, uh, that's a Mysterio, without a doubt. You know the pixel version? That's a sick looking pixel version, bruh. All right. Now, I have Cloak in this Galactus deck for one reason, and that's to move these pesky squirrels out of the way, so I make room for Big G. So there's Wave. Uh, it looks like I skipped somewhere, but yeah, he, uh, there it is. <laughs> All right, I win. Wee. <laughs>